And I attach a data tap to a bottle cap drone and then fly into the helicopter and plug in. <laughs> really? You can give me a try. <laughs> that seems... <laughs> That's a uh, <laughs> you're banking an awful lot. That's on a that. slight augment I, on the plan. I'm yeah. asking if I can do it. I didn't say <laughs> I'm going to do. No, it. No, no. I mean, I'm down for the risk, but remember that I think that's this a good, one will be on you. I think that's a good backup. I think so. I don't think that should be the main plan. Mechanically speaking, I don't see why not. Okay. You would have to make specific checks to pilot the drone, since that's a very delicate operation. I, I, I agree with that. Um, and there might be countermeasures. But yeah. mechanically, Well, absolutely. the countermeasures are the reason why I think if things go south, I think that's really the only other option we have. Yep. In yep. which case, it's not great, yep. but it's, an, it's, a, it's a backup plan. So yep. I will do I, I that. Will... I will strap a data tap to a bottle cap Sounds and I'll keep it. I'll, I'll have it just kind of land on the corner of a roof and just kind of yep. keep it there. Yep, and that's fine. We can use it if we need to. Cool. Okay. So, we are so I will then forward the three-dimensional map to each of you. Give you guys a nice deal. Get a tritio going of a, of a good thing. We'll get some markers put up in places and points, and we'll synchronize some watches and do mm -hmm. all, the, all, the, all the Ocean's Eleven stuff. Yep. Uh, yeah, so you are fully aware of all of the external uh, aspects of the roof and the... I mean, there's really not much to see in terms of the exterior of the building on the top few floors. Um... But on the roof, there are a bunch of cameras. There's probably half a dozen to a dozen cameras uh, pointing in all directions. You're not going to be able to not be seen. I, I pretty much forewent that. There's obviously. Just no way. Uh, and uh, there's nobody masks. currently on the roof. And yeah, wear masks. Obviously, you, uh, you find oh. the helicopter on the right building. Like, yeah. You have so figured out gonna... which building yeah. it's on. Yeah. I hope it's powered up. <laughs> uh, you also see the entrance, the exit from the oh, building that they would use to come out onto the roof. Mm -hmm. So you know where they'll be coming up. Because there's really only the one way. Unfortunately, about, we, we can't trap it because we could end up getting the guy we were, we're trying to save. Uh, yeah, well that and also if you tried to do anything to the roof before they're on it. It you could would set off an alarm or something. Almost, it, at least cameras, right? Like yeah. you're at least going to be Yeah, this cameras. is going to be a very... Very this delicate. is this it's, is gonna, it's gonna go down timing. very quickly. Yep. Um, that's okay. That's how these things usually work. Yep. Yep. Um, so the distance between the door and the helicopter, because I know at some point somebody's gonna ask me that. Uh, right is now, about thirty feet. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. And what's the distance between building and building? Uh it wouldn't be huge. Probably in the same neck of the woods. Okay. So probably I need to know how, much, how fast it's gonna take me to get across. Yeah. I mean, okay. you. The distance across the road. Yes. Is so ah, I see, I see. thirty ish feet. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's do it. Okay. What are we missing? Oh, I'm sure we'll find out <laughs> when we miss it. We've got distraction. We've got sniper rifle. So first attempt on on pilot, second attempt on pilot. We got grapple gun, which I'm gonna have to shoot at the time of, and time to zip across. I'll zip first and take take point with sword. Um, back up, so the two of us should be able to tank all those guys out. <laughs> we mm. don't know unless it's like unless they're flying angels or something. You know. Um, I was figuring we could even zip simultaneously. Do you have a, do you have a, a, a gun? I was gonna buy one. He, he said we could buy. Yeah, you assume that you've borrowed, bought, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll rectify the cost of it later. Sure. Oh. I mean, I've got plenty. It won't yeah. be. Um, okay. In that case, maybe what we'll do is we use your gun as a as a as an escape gun. Because worst case scenario is we abandon the the, the mission. Like you find your own sure. way off. I'll zip line off with the exec. Yeah. And okay. then we'll meet at another location. Right. Because it's easier for you to go one direction, me to go the other, and him to just ab abandon post hey, and leave. Hey, detective. If uh, if you ever want me to put you out of your misery because you've been captured. Just say the word now. Negative. <laughs> not happening. <laughs> All right. Well, Definitely I gave, not now. I gave you the chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does that include use in a sentence? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he said it. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. <laughs> All right. I think we got this. All right. Yeah. Shall we? Let's shall. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you start the narrative, and I'm going to jump in when All right. I need to. So... Let's We've, let our new friend Capo do the most 
Yeah, Capo's going in. We, we're we're hearing him talk about the days of a daughter's you're, wedding. You're currently on the roof. So we are hidden. We are we are. I would assume at this point, rifle in hand, sword, all that stuff, ready to go. Important. Are we um, doing this at night? For a little bit of extra darkness cover. Or are we doing this in, in the day? Every camera they've got is going to be night vision I understand anyway, that, so but from a visual perspective. It's up to you. Yeah, let's do it at night. Uh, quick question about that. Are the yep. cameras... When we say like night vision, because like we have night vision cameras right now, but they're, they suck. They would have infrared flood. Got it. Yeah. So at a, at a long distance, they wouldn't necessarily be able to see things, yep. but you can guarantee that they'll at least be able to All see right. the building. All right, audience, time. over, under, us, us succeeding. Yeah, I'm always curious. One in the chat or two. One for you think they'll win, two for they'll lose, and three for they'll fail forward. <laughs> oh, three. Wow. 100% three. <laughs> um, okay. Um. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Who said seven? Chad. Oh my God! Thanks, Chad. Elden Ring is a solid five out of seven, Chad. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Ooh. All right. Man, the timing on this is going to be stupid. It's stupid gonna way. be. It's gonna go down quick. Well, so I can tell you right now, you have basically a ten-minute window before the drones are gonna notice you on the roof. Uh, so that's like your maximum window. Are these drones armed with weapons? No. I didn't think so. Not so the I ones that are flying around. So I, as long as they don't notice us until after they've already engaged. With moving the guy to the roof, I don't think it matters. Pro yeah, that's a reasonable. Because they're like, oh, there's guys up there. It's like, yeah, we know. We're getting shot at. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. I think you and Chad should role play the lobby portion during the next seventh side, just because it's the two of you. Oh my God. <laughs> On the next seventh side, <laughs> you and Chad have to role play what happens down there. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here for my daughter's wedding. What? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it the days of my daughter's wedding? <laughs> days of my daughter's wedding? No. Uh, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my daughter's so, getting married. So you're sending Capo in? He's going into... He's uh, going in. So or, he's first, he's first distraction. Yeah. We need to have... We basically need to see the hatch open and know that shit's hitting the fan on the roof before we do our thing. You know what else you need is to take some inspiration from Temple. Temple! Some, ed some edge. Just dropped a Make It Rain, which Whoa! is five. Templicious. You can uh, Make it rain. split them up however you like. Uh, well, I've got so Leroy's got three, Detective's got four, so I'll at least take two. Let's just take all of Capos. There we go, and then each of you, I'll take three, and each of you get one. Okay. Fair no, I'll take. I'll take. Uh, Leroy, you can take. One, one of you is going to be a five, and the other two are a four. However, okay, you yeah, right. I'll take. I'll take one. I don't think I'm going to need. Detective, you take the fifth one. That first shot. No, is you take the fifth one. I already oh, got the range. Should go up to five. Oh, yeah, you're at 5 2. Yeah. Oh. yeah unless my math is totally. I right. only need to make yes. one shot. You guys need to make a lot more than that. So I think it's oh. important for you to have okay, more. You, got it. you might actually need to make a lot of shots as well. You oh, have did, to do it, though. Did Rift oh, Machine also it. make it rain? That uh, first shot is the important shot, though. And more than four oh. edges is excessive. No, we'll, we'll, we'll hold Capos for now. What? I uh, Chad said split the split mine up between the rest of the party. Oh, no, 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 we'll, no. We'll hold it. No, it's your incentive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you we'll can hold it. Sorry, I've got I two. I want player threes, though. Oh, player five's going up one. That was me, because uh, I've got two things on my <laughs> screen. <laughs> you knew yeah. you picked the wrong one. I'll you fix player five. You just got to count one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, or just hit the player six. No, he, there's two on either side. <laughs> <laughs> We're all good. good. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Leroy. Sorry. All right. That's you offensive. That I need a prop. <sighs> I need a prop. I don't okay. get to use my usual prop for this game. What's your prop? There's no car involved. Oh, yeah. Well, we got to get there somehow. Yeah. All right. Here we go. On this, the days of my daughter's wedding. We're waiting down below. You're the, dropping the grenades? I thought, am I doing it or he, is he doing it? Up to you. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? If he does it, since he's alone, he's going to be very focused on one spot. If you do it, you can optionally do it in Won't we both more do places. It? Sure. I just need to know. Uh, why don't we just have him set to a timer? Yeah. Sure. We'll no, this is way easier. Yeah. He'll do... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he, he sort of rocks up to the building I'm on... listening to it. Yeah. Sorry? I'm listening to it. Yeah, yeah, you're listening to it. You probably even have a feed from a Sheila, bottom. activate Operation Crush Chrono. <laughs> 
Uh, Capo pulls up in a not a Ford America. He wouldn't do that to it. And, Was it a Lincoln? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> and uh, there's he basically chucks a like a bandolier of grenades <laughs> <laughs> at the front entrance. Subtle. <laughs> Well, he was hanging out with Boris, so... <laughs> and uh, simultaneously, your drones drop a bunch, and huge explosion. I mean, many small explosions resulting in essentially a huge explosion. And uh, the glass, surprisingly, only shatters in a few spots. And honestly, you don't see a lot else, because the windows are darked yeah, out. Yeah, they're tinted. Yeah. So, you're on a timer now. So that goes off. Uh, as soon as I hear the explosions going off, I will set the sniper rifle up and aim it toward the the driver's area of the pi the pilot's area of the aircraft. Yeah, that should only take a few seconds. Yeah, and then I guess at this point you could shoot and go right there. Yeah, sure. You get get a head start on. I'll slide after you. So I figure by the time you're both on the roof, it's about thirty seconds in. Um, maybe yeah. So he's shooting on the roof and getting a connection. Yeah. I don't know if you need any rolls. I. On for that. I mean, you're not aiming anywhere specific yeah, so on the roof, right? He, he so. goes and does the connection while I set the rifle up, and then I take, I grab his rappel rope and slide after him. Yeah, I'd say he'll that's be on the like roof. a handful he'll be on the roof of rounds. 20 seconds the only time, me. sure, yeah. The only time it'd be necessary to do that roll is if he had like gremlins or something. I think. Yeah, I'm. I I think he could hit the broadside of a barn. I, I hope so. I think that's fair. Um, I'm a street there, samurai, not a roof samurai. There will be some checks. Don't worry. Uh, okay. okay. Um, what are you doing during this? Anything yet? What are you waiting for? I need to know what everybody's waiting for so I don't blow past your time my frame. Job, my job, as far as I understand it, is to remotely control the sniper rifle yep. and ensure that the pilot does so not start the helicopter. So where are you aiming it currently? At you're the driver's aiming at seat of the helicopter. Okay, yeah. you're, okay fair enough. Yeah, because I can't, set it up. There's yep. no point in, in you're, trying you're to take out... You're also providing covering fire. After the pilot's been shot. The pilot may not even come out first. Yeah. So this is... Okay. But, but this is my point. Isn't it better... To be ready for the pilot than to be darting if around between dead, guys. If we're dead, it doesn't matter. It, correct. I can just continue <laughs> no, eating my burger so, and leave. I also want to let us know that when we do slide over, we are going to be hanging off of the rooftop, not going onto the roof, because cameras will see this. What? We don't. Uh, sure. At this point, uh, cameras. You, you're going to wait for them to come out. Here's my thought: if the cameras are on the roof scouting. And there's explosions down below, and they're like, extract the target, and then the security says, "There's people on the roof. They're not bringing them to the roof." Sure. So we need to we need to be hanging off the edge where the cameras on the roof may not see us until we. I'll use the sound. I'll use my uh, earbuds till we hear our door open, and then we'll jump up. That's fair enough. I so mean, I, at that point, we could just time the zip line to. Yeah, sure. Just land at the correct moment. You're right. Which do you want to? I would rather do the second thing so that we're not okay. dangling. So we'll off the we'll roof wind. I got, the I got gecko gloves. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make this real simple. I'm gonna call out 15 second increments, and anytime you want to interrupt what's going on, uh, you tell me because oh, okay. there's gonna be this some time good. here where nothing's happening. This is yeah. good. You can see. I I guess I'll position the rifle at the at the entrance at just the so I have okay. it. Okay. Why not? So it can dim so, the lights. Uh, well, we we can a little bit. Uh, let's dim these things. Let's give us I mean, some nighttime, roof time, this hot access. And here. actually, where is the other remote? It's around here somewhere. Right there beside you. Uh, that controls these. Uh, there's a different remote. I don't know where it is. Oh, well, it's fate. Yeah. Here, I'll uh, over there. Just do a really bad day to night filter <laughs> on the YouTube version. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, it's right here. You're absolutely right. Uh, let's see if this is, uh, is that working? Am I on the wrong channel? It's fine. We tried. We tried. Uh, someday I'm going to have those hooked up to this. Nice. Okay, so 30 seconds pass. Uh, we're going to 45 seconds. Still nothing's happening. We're going to a minute. And the helicopter starts up. Starts up? Starts starting up. There's nobody it's, there. It's probably remote. Correct. Oh, shit. It's remote. Obviously. There's nobody in it. No, this is a good sign. Okay. 15 seconds go by. We're at a minute 15, and the helicopter seems to be sort of up to speed. Could take off anytime. Yeah, we are going to make sure that I've got that bottle cap drone with the data tap. Like, but you're not on, putting it in yet. It's ready on standby. Okay. Minute and a half. Nobody's coming to the roof. Minute 45. Nobody's coming to the roof. Two minutes. The helicopter starts to take off slightly. 
and hovers about three feet above the what the, roof. the fuck is going on anybody want to do anything yet it's just hovering it's just hovering about three feet off the they're testing probably nothing Hold position. uh i do i am holding position i'm not doing anything drastic i'm glad we did not i'm gonna jump check position. my six though any your rooftop appears that's why i got clear. the camera set up okay i also have that on the like Always assume every single feed I can see, your eyes, his eyes, my camera, I can always have all of that up as a HUD. Are you, you're keeping an eye on like... I'm watching everything. Icons watching and arrows everything. and everything, right? Anything I can see, yeah. What's your distance like on that? In terms of like... So how, as far how many as, feet are you able to easily see? As far as I understand, um, actually, I don't know the answer. And and that comes in two questions, actually. One is like how technically, how far can you go? And two, like... How much can you actually keep track of? Are you talking about arrows? Yeah, like, I mean, because if you just saw every piece of tech in the Shadowrun universe, it would be as good as seeing none of them. So the way it works is everything is consolidated into pans, sure. right? So yep. when a person walks by, you see a pan. So you don't, you don't see an icon. Pans. You don't see an icon of everything yep. they have on them because it's yep. all in the pan. Yeah. So you're just watching for pans. Well, I'm. Yeah, I'm not gonna have every single icon but i am not just looking for pans i'm also like sure any like any sure, non-pan sure. related sure. tech also sure. understood uh i'm assuming so, the helicopter has like an arrow and stuff testing. yes it does yes. Icon. so so two minutes 30 seconds go the helicopter's still hovering oh no make me a perception check matrix perception matrix perception four Four hits. One of the other buildings that is owned by this company, there somebody just walked onto the roof. Both other buildings. Okay. What the hell? I will forward this along. Yeah, you would we, now be able to. We scope got them people out. on the other buildings. I can see them coming up. Scope. Look. They have big rifles too. Yeah, and they got are, snipers. Are they, look, are they looking for us? They are targeting the roof. To, the building's rooftop. The, 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 the building's uh, rooftop where the helicopter is. Not yours. Is. The one that you would be they, doing. They are waiting oh, for you to jump over off. there and they're snipe They're setting you. up cover. Yeah. Sure. That makes sense. Yeah. I have an idea. New, new, new target. Okay. New plan. Leroy? Yeah. I turn this toward one of them <laughs> and I aim it. Do you want to take the other Whoa. one? Whoa. Sniper out? Oh, that makes I me I don't know sick. if I realistically can. Swipe sick. I'm assuming I'm in range. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm yet, not going to do it yet. Don't do it yeah. yet. The the rifle should easily. I mean, if they have a clear line, to then the we should have a clear line. You should have yeah. a clear line. Keep in mind, this means I can't take out the pilot. Don't worry about that. I, I will, but I don't okay. think that thing needs a pilot the way it's already off operating. Yeah, it definitely does not need a pilot. That doesn't mean there wouldn't be one. It's true. You still want somebody All right, there. So, if you had the question choice. I have for you, detective. As for kind of said, I'll say I'll say to you in character, uh, detective. I'll say, what do you want? One sniper or a rooftop of bad guys? Detective. I'm, I'm thinking about it. And I'm gonna <laughs> let them I'm gonna let them abuse the time frame here a little bit. Cinematic. I'm, yeah. What do you sure. want, buddy? Do you want a you want a rooftop of bad guys or a sniper? So you're you're thinking one of us goes to that roof to take out the sniper? Yeah, I, I I'm fairly arrogant <laughs> and that I can handle a crowd of people on a rooftop for you to join me after. Yeah, I'll take but out I, the sniper. I am not arrogant enough to say I can handle two sniper guns. Yeah, that would be a problem, <laughs> to say the least. Do you need a gun? Um, well, I have guns. I can't shoot. He I, needs he needs a long range rifle, which he doesn't have. I don't have a long range rifle. Yeah, you so I would have to. Maybe. I would have to go to that roof yeah. to take out the striker. Yeah. Sniper. Oh yeah. Do you want a, a, a better? The other gun? option is that you leave them to me. You want to shoot both of them? I'm just saying that's an option. They are so. Um, over the next few seconds, I'm not winding forward a crazy amount. Over the next few seconds, they are going to start setting up in position. Now's a good time to drop one real fast. Absolutely. Considering I'm, the fact I'll that take it's, the shot. Considering the fact the it's taken one. two minutes okay. and something to get here, I'll we really should on the first one. Yep. Uh, so give me some some attack. We really yeah. should have had Capo do like a couple of explosions and then a couple more. Uh, like keep the pressure. No, no, no. Well, he's no, he'll this be is on good. comms. This if is you good. Want That's to, freaking uh, I think smart. This is fine. Uh, so I got uh, firearms. It's, it's only snipers. Or, <laughs> and this is I'm shooting uh, agility, right? That's right. Agility and Should firearms. Be. Yeah. Yep. In hindsight, it actually makes perfect sense that they would have this kind of setup. Yeah. Wish me luck. Good luck. Uh. Four. 
no edge for this, eh? Uh, I will give you edge simply for the fact that you are obviously going to catch him by surprise. Uh, what, what, what would you like to give me for edge? I'll give you two. I will choose two re-rolls or get an extra hit. What do you think? I can get one guaranteed hit or I can roll for two. Law of averages. This, Gambling would be the better bad. option is just to give yeah. one, I think. Well, I got four hits yeah. so far. It's not bad. Yeah, getting one so take for the sure hit is going to be the better option right. because you could get zero or you could All get right. two. I'll get the other hit, but just for, just for posterity. Would have been one hit anyway. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so I'm going to claim five hits on this. Oh, wait a second. I get an extra dice because of uh, my scope. Does nothing for me. Okay. Um, I get... I'm hitting him with a Desert Strike uh, sniper rifle. Yeah. <laughs> with um, regular rounds. It is silenced. And it has... Um, Smart link, imaging scope, all that shit. Yeah. Um, I'm hitting with five hits. Yeah. So I don't know what he gets to soak. I don't think he gets to dodge. Uh, I no, straight, I'm not. I'm not going body. to let him dodge regardless. So, so yeah. this is so. ten physical with the five extra hits. It's five physical normally with the rifle. Okay. So and for every success you get, it's an additional damage. So there's ten physical on this guy. Yeah. So these guys are not the beefiest fellows in the world. Uh, snipers. I rolled very well. Uh, he's still taking six body. Uh, which, uh, in his case, I think will put him down. Question. He would be on the roof bleeding. Okay. Question. Yes. Because of the way initiative works. Yes. If he does that, would I be able to, from the Matrix, swivel and shoot the other guy before he gets a chance? To uh, a well, he's round. currently no, holding, holding the gun. gun. I'm going to put Is it down. Is the mechanics on the gun strong enough to jostle him out if I were to use it? <sighs> I don't think so, realistically. Uh, that said, uh, the guy who is currently setting up to snipe didn't see that happen. He's focused here. You shot a guy over there. Oh, no, oh okay. Two um, away. So then you're, you're going yeah. to get another round. However, the people inside the building most likely just found out what happened. They're, they're going to have some sort of... All depends on if the, the guy was able to report in or not. Uh, or if there's any sort of vital. If there were, yeah, they might, if they have uh, vitals being Which, submitted. to be fair, you don't know. We don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Um, in which case, right after I'm done shooting that guy, I will turn the rifle to aim toward the other one and let yeah. him take control of that and sure. wait and see. Yeah. Uh, give me give me hits. I mean, just to see if you, uh, like, give me the shot. Just okay. To see. What do you want me to use for this? For um... Promoting? I actually don't know the rules on this, so I'm just going to say, uh, give me, what would you use for Matrix Attack? Uh, cyber Combat. Do it. Uh, cracking plus Logic. Good enough. I actually don't, I'll, I'll have to look up the rule for this. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, you would be pretty effective with this. I mean, it's pressing, oh, jeez. Mm. If it's more than, like, four hits, it's pretty much he's dead anyways. Seven. Oh, Seven God, hits. yeah, he's dead. I don't think he can soak enough to. So you well, have yeah, taken those two out. The, the, the damage afterwards. Um. So now <laughs> we're gonna fast forward another fifteen seconds. I believe this puts us at three minute mark. Well, Nothing more has happened. You see, Chrono, I'm doing my job really well. Do you want to keep? We're gonna go another fifteen seconds. Three fifteen. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to wind forward, and we're going to go forward to 3.30, and at this point, the helicopter starts lifting off more. I, I don't think we care, do we? There's nobody in it. Is there anybody in it? There's nobody in it. Unless okay. they somehow made him invisible, which... Uh, which would be hilarious. Seems unlikely. <laughs> would, Dragon's like, oh, there's no magic. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's something else going on here that you haven't figured out yet. So we're going to go to 3.45. Hold on. Okay. So so uh, so uh, so at the three minute, the 315, 330 mark, it goes higher, right? At the three, the what, what mark does it go higher on? Three at three minutes thirty, it starts to raise again. Not fast. It doesn't look like it's escaping. <clears throat> if you had to guess, I if you want to, I want to look down below on the streets. There are, there are some people uh, swarming out of the building on the main floor. All right. Vision magnification. Capo, Capo has escaped at this yes. point. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, vision magnification on my glasses. So my shades have um, <coughs> vision magnification uh, highest rating. So zoom right in on it. Yeah. Uh, there are 
five personnel yeah. and a sixth with a bag on its head. Shit. Either this Target is another, number. either this is another ruse, or that's our guy. That's the guy. Are you sure? It could be either. That's the thing. They're already doing one ruse. They could be doing a second. <laughs> I mean, I, I did I kinda say fi- they were expecting shot I kind of figured it was immediately. <laughs> can, I, can I look at the person with the bag over his head? Yeah. Can I, at this visual, maybe, maybe a perception check if you want to want see if body stature, size fits the profile of the target? Because I'm assuming under the profile even, we'll get even, you know, body mass and stuff like that. Even, right? even if it does, we can't be sure that it is. It's, it's a, you, you can't be totally 100% sure, but it seems to be a reasonable match, yep. So, here's the thing. One of you's got to go down the road. Oh, yeah. That's the question. You the want question the is whether the it's both of you or one of you. I think it's one of us. For now. Well, my, bike, it's him. my bike's down there, so. Does it, if it's one, it's him because he's the most equipped. Okay. You well, sure? the other one's going to have to do the other roof, potentially. Yeah, but you've got a room sweeper. <laughs> That's way better on a rooftop than on a street. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What, do you, what, do you, what does your gut tell you? Where do you want to go? Um, I'll go. I mean, I'm good with either. I'm totally good with either. I was thinking straight, but I just I don't. Disagree Why don't you with hop in the helicopter, go down, and pick them up? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. So the helicopter at this point is still within a range that if you wanted to get on it, I would let you do that. We could. Sure. Uh, and Richard, grapple, thanks grapple for dropping one for Leroy. You can add that. I, I have an idea. It's a little. It's a little unorthodox. Really. <laughs> Oh no! Stun grenade. Yeah, <laughs> not a bad idea. Hits the target too. But uh, uh, yeah. What's the range on stun grenades? I mean, I'm just gonna drop it and hope for the best. I think. Uh, the range, like the blast radius. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah. all of them have the same. I believe the same blast radius. It's large, if I recall. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's, it's not small. It's meters, sure. meters. Yeah. Uh, I believe. And I'm not. I used to have the page memorized, but I, I used to have this bookmarked as well. It's if anyone knows in on. chat, it's almost there. It's, I'm in the so oh, uh, so <laughs> ground zero. If I hit, yes, with a stun grenade or a flash pack that blinds them too, and I might either one of. I have one of each. Yeah. Uh, it ground zero is is, uh, is ten serious. Uh, DB close is eight serious. DB near. Okay, so where does that? So what I what I will say is yeah. So uh, I Grenades. forget what near. Five, no, 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 no. five. Okay, so it's here the five meter safety feature. No, that's not it. Uh, temple, what is it? What's so <laughs> so in this case, temple. Um, the the threshold for hitting the area is separate. I'll I'll deal with that in a second. I'm actually just wondering legitimately how. Far the effect of the grenade goes, there, oh, uh, and I don't remember. I wish I knew what those cards were. Um, because there's there's like there's ground zero, and then near is uh, here we go. You got distance in meters. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I know so it was like it's fifteen or something. It's two d six minus net hits plus four. It's the, it's, for, the ground, it's the ground zero for the scatter at range. Yeah, for the for the distance, so to speak. Two d six plus net hits. Minus net hits plus four, and then depending on, uh, the, like that's where it goes out to. Oh, sorry, the and blast. that's the distance. The blast meters is in. ten meters. There we go. That's it. Back. It's in the same thing. There we go. Um, the the stun is fifteen meters. Perfect. From okay. ground zero. So yeah. That's pretty good. So in this case, you will be making a. I would say that this would count as an extreme can since we, you're lobbing it off the top of a building. Can we tell where they are trying to get yeah. the take the target to? Is there like a vehicle or something? Uh, not enough time has passed for that. Okay. They're just coming out of the building right Gotcha. Now. You realize that right after I drop this, one of us has to go down. You? Yeah. Me? Yes. Okay. Because he's going to jump in the copter. What's your throw? What is throw? Oh, what's your athletics? Uh, I got a pool of 10. <laughs> a Jeez. pool of 10 athletics? Yeah. I do too. So why don't you throw while I start zipping? That's a better idea. Sure. Zip into it. And if you want, why don't we take some of these dice that the people bought us? Yeah. Sure. Sure. I mean, because they go back if they're not hits, right? So yep. 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 Use, you, you may as well use all of them, right? Because what's the worst that's going to happen? Uh, all of them are hits, in which case we totally hit the target. They go back if they don't work. Correct. No, it's, it's more the hits that I'm worried about. But yeah, I can use all of them. All right. Uh, and where are you trying to plant the grenade? Uh, 
dead center mass. Yeah, probably right on, like right on the center subject. mass. Yeah, on the center mass, yeah. Okay. The swarm of guys. Yep, that's fine. I just wanted to know. By the way, the dice, thank you very much. Those are for subs. Mm hmm. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So this is good. as he tosses, I'm basically going parallel with the toss with the repel rope, but I'm obviously letting the grenade go significantly ahead of me. <laughs> I'm not just sure. zipping into the blast. Yeah, that's right. Would you like me to make a, a I, I probably should make a test for this. For zipping down from the yeah. top of the building? Yeah. Uh, athletics escape? Yeah. So that, athletics that'll work. Really cool. ten. How many hits no, did you get there, champ? Uh, eight hits. This is going to be a great video. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, um, where'd that grenade go so I can put these back? Yeah. So you're definitely going to manage to stun the uh, the target, like the, the person in the middle that's wearing a bag on her head. Sure. Uh, and I, I would say I will just give that to you because that was a hell of a throw. <laughs> so it gives them, it gives them blinded, <laughs> deafened, and dazed status yeah. effect, which means they get minuses on their initiatives for when I hit the ground. Yeah, I think that's fair. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> just zip down. <laughs> or I don't think the myomeric rope is that far. Grab the guy and then pull the trigger to that go back up. That would be pretty fun. Batman so, style. So that's going to take a few seconds to get down. So you want me to? So I'm gonna, I'm zipping down. You want me to? I'm roll. I've rolled. I'm just debating yeah. whether I want to spend some edge to ensure that it's good. Um, I've got. I've got. I don't want to see what you're gonna say. I got three hits so far. What do you think? That seems fine. You're not trying to do anything. All right. I I'll, I'll go with three hits. You will be able to get down. Uh, yeah, uh, you're not gonna break your spine or anything. Um, <laughs> you know, right? Although if you ah! had, you could have blamed us for like. Yeah, exactly. Like. Yeah, Temple. I'm, I'm just giving that to him. Eight hits on the throw is insane. Uh, so, so you're going down. That's gonna take you. I'm gonna say probably three rounds to get down. So like sort of. What's 20 the swivel? Thirty seconds. Well, I went ahead of the grenade, so I, I started going down. So that the grenade goes okay, past Okay, so you're going to land just a little bit after. I, I'm hoping to land about six to okay. ten seconds after the grenade hits. Fair enough. I'm fine with that. While he's doing that, mm -hmm. I should the probably... Door opens. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. On the roof. That's about what we were expecting. Yeah. You're still on the other building. Correct. Yes. I, yeah, yeah, I got to zip line over. The door opens. We'll we'll go there. We'll, we'll do the next segment, and we can do it in like 15. We can do it in six. We can do... A, I'm not calling initiative just yet. We will do some initiative for what you're doing. Don't worry. I you should do, probably, you, you, you but, but I'm going to give you a surprise round on them anyways because you literally just popped them with a stun grenade. Probably swivel around and get the other sniper then. At this point, yeah. Uh, you, you already did. That. Already did. Yeah. I got both of them. Yeah. yeah. Both oh, so Tom got the first one. Oh, that's you got right. the second one. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're good. Otherwise, he would you, just, you should swivel right. around and look at the roof. Yes. Yes. In the matrix, that's what I want to do. I want to swivel on the roof. Yes. So he's trained on the roof. Does he see anything? Uh. He will, yeah. So as, as they emerge, these are going to happen simultaneously. You're sure. going to get a free round of initiative on these guys, and you're going to deal with the five individuals and the hooded person who is currently coming out on the yeah, roof. Yeah, huh? there it is. Mm -hmm. All right, merch. So, you good, detective? Yep. Go Let's get him. This. So I'm going to zip line over. So am I hearing that there's more on the roof? Yeah. So I'm going to say that takes a round. Sure. There's That's more on the roof, and there's another hooded guy. In reality, probably should take two, but I'm going to say it takes a round. Uh, and you are now on ground level, and you are... Well, technically, you'd need to cross some distance, but I don't think it's far enough that you can run in, in a turn. So okay. you can close the distance and, and do your attacks. Uh, instead, I would like to reveal the hood of the guy. It is not your target. Roof, roof, roof. <laughs> We're on it! And then it will continue to run. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Then, then we'll call that done. We won't, we won't go any further with that. <laughs> get a, I say, I, so can I get back to the rope and, and attempt a, a zip up? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, like, that, these guys have guns. You, uh, they do have guns. How long does uh, that stun last? Well, they're currently blinded, anyways, right? Yeah, how like, long does that last for? Uh, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll read it while you do the other parts. Yeah, of the you, you read it. But honestly. I would say that they're probably not going to immediately look for someone who's zip lining <laughs> down on top of their position. I would be willing to say that you could probably do that. Get the uh, hell out. Since you got the snipers and everything, if you want to go back to the roof, I will let you do that. 
If you want to run for your bike, I will also let you do that. You just need to decide which one. You'll never live it out. <laughs> but if you run for your bike. I was going to run for the bike just to follow the, uh, the uh, helicopter. I think technically they get the ability to see on their next turn to some degree, but like... They're still going to be disoriented. They're going to be yeah. confused. Let me read the grapple guns rules to see what it's going to take from the. That's probably more and important. And then I'll also I, read the blinded status, yeah. and I'll come back to you. I don't know how do fast this. you ascend. That's no. probably the key. So you are zipping over to the other building. Yeah. You are covering... I am covering are you him with... shooting anyone? See, this is the thing. Can you see the faces of the subjects? Well, one of the guys is a hood over He can face. see the... Yeah, but he's, he's... I know what you're saying. Yeah. And that's my thought no. as well. Uh, he can, and I would imagine you can run image recognition at lightning yep. speed. None of the non-hooded people are your suspect. Good and check. None of my guys are suspect as well. Correct. You have not seen the face of the person you're looking for you yet. Fuck, sneaky son of a bee. <laughs> Fe- sneaky son of a Leroy's mom. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you're on the roof. So... There you- are there are five of them pouring out onto the roof and and surrounding the hooded figure. Okay. Yeah. The bagged figure. I don't want to take any shots until they've all come out on the roof. So we'll fast forward around and say they're all on the roof. They okay. Are, they are making their way between the door and the helicopter. Then I would like to start taking the shots. Yeah. I just I didn't want to start I don't want to have one guy shoot out shoot him because then the rest will be like, oh geez, and close the door. <laughs> sure. Give me checks. Alright. And do you want to engage simultaneously? I do. Okay. He will have a surprise, and then we'll roll you into an issue. Okay. I know that's not technically how a surprise works, but I he's do, sniping from a distance. I do, and you're, I do have a, yeah. a follow-up to that. Yes. Because if I'm in, like, hot sim, yeah. I can take two actions. Does that mean I can fire two rounds off in the span of... Or do you, is that a limitation of the gun? You can burst fire. Uh, uh, so this does it have burst gun, fire? So, this so, so, nor, so the way that I would rule this, and there might actually be rules for this, and I will look them up later. The way that I would rule this is you will be able to take two shots and because they are closely grouped I'll let you move the gun normally I would say like you're not going to be able to move the gun well yeah if they enough. were like there and there exactly that's, but yeah, in this okay. case you're like fire just, it, fire just okay. to let you know I'll let you it has semi-automatic burst fire and full auto well, I'm not going full auto that, that would be excessive that's, that's and stupid. it's got 14 rounds okay okay uh, it's range is very fine well yeah it's got like 7 ranges on it yeah uh, 5p and it is equipped with the following uh, things. It has an attack rating of plus two, so you may get some edge. Uh, it has an image scope. You could turn the laser sight on for uh, for more stuff. It has a smart light. What, what does that do? I don't have to read up. I, uh, could, I could use some help. What does yeah. it do? <laughs> the silencer. You said it was a laser sight? Laser sight, I think it, laser sight is, I think, what gives it the attack rating plus two. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, I think and then the like smart that. link, I believe, gives That's you, what allows me to do the thing I'm Yeah, doing. but it yes. also gives... There's also a reroll here somewhere, so I have to find out which one it is. Um, do I get edge? Um, yeah, why not? How much? I'll give you the same as I gave uh, Tom, two edge. Because again, you're, you're sniping them from a distance. They have no idea you're there. Uh, not 14 rounds. There are 13 rounds left. Uh, 12 rounds left. 12 rounds, yeah. We'll, uh, we should have put, uh, I should have put. We'll throw those two edge in for there. Can I use, um. I, d- I can't use uh, matrix programs for this, right? Because that's in there. this is more of a yeah. And the blow the guy off the roof. What? What are you? The, probably not. But what are you trying to do? like overclocking, for example? Yeah, uh, no, I don't yeah, think so. I wouldn't think so. Okay, then uh, we're looking at five. Uh, five hits. Five hits. Uh, so I will roll body for that. Yeah. Yeah. First. Uh, second's really slow. Uh, first one drops. Okay. Switch to the other guy. Oddly enough, sniper rifles against uh, targets that have no ability to dodge it is uh, really good. Pretty effective. Yeah. Well, sniper rifles at like relatively short range too for a sniper. Yeah, rifle. Can yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I could have the beefed index. these guys' bodies up a lot, but that wouldn't be realistic. While we can still get away with this, the index. I looked up conditions. Yes. And instead of putting the page number beside it, it says C statuses. That's one of those like. I love you, Randall. My God, Jason, get, come on. Do you get edge on every attack, or is it once per... I'm going to give it to you once for the round. Got it. So a five again. 51. Uh, okay. Uh, you, same as the last guy. Okay. Drops. <laughs> so you've taken two down. Now we'll go into an issue. <laughs> 16. 16. 
And you're going to beat me by a couple. And by a couple, I mean four. This is using Matrix Initiative for me, right? Uh, for Because you're controlling the gun? Yes. Through Hot Sim? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you will go first. Uh, thank you, Angie, for dropping one for each of the party. You can add yeah. those now. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Yay, Angie. We miss you. Uh, 28 is my initiative. <laughs> yeah. Well, you go first. <laughs> Because I'm hot simming. Yeah, that's why. I know. Okay. <laughs> so um, I will let you take another two shots, presumably. Sounds good. Because again, same premise. You won't get the extra two edge though, because they're no longer surprised. Uh, that's fine. There were only five guys plus the hooded guy, right? Yeah, and he's potentially about to take out four of them. Yeah. Hot sim. These guys is great. Oh. And I suspect that I'm butchering the rules about how he takes the shots, but honestly. It's a remote controlled sniper rifle with a decker uh, behind it. It's four. Yeah. This was always four, a good position okay. to be in. Uh, it's still definitely possible that you take him out. Uh, I rolled like crap. So, yep, he goes down. Excellent. Three and out of five. More. I am the king of first person shooters. <laughs> yeah, this is just a video game. So, I don't. You can decide how long they have those conditions. I can't read anything right now about it, but it says. They get blind, deafened, and dazed. Blind and deafened gives them minus three to any checks uh, that involve visual. For, and so, blind. how quick is the grapple gun? Is the real question. Oh, yeah. Sorry, how quick I does it descend? Right five. Uh, yep. So, four out of five. <laughs> right on. It's a sniper's dream. New high score. It's almost like they were hoping you didn't have a decker attached to a goddamn mobile sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> so. Using the hot sound, I'm just sitting back. Yeah. I'll like log it out. I'm sitting here in my own little, my own little matrix paradise yeah. with just EDM music going off in the background, everything <laughs> all going. And I'm, I got like this huge high tech like grid with like all these multiple, and I'm just going like, like yeah. that, which to me is at normal speed, but to the information going to the gun, it's literally like in the span of six seconds. Yeah. Tons of information. Well, I'm going to shoot the last guy, I think. Okay. Start pulling your 08! <laughs> he just turns and shoots Leroy. <laughs> Done. Man. And uh, in this case, because this is the uh, secondary extraction team, uh, I think I would also give you an edge for this. Okay. Because I think you're going to have, uh, given how many dice you rolled, I'm pretty sure you're going to have four more. I have, sorry? Yeah, like you're going to get the edge for being higher than their defenses. Or gotcha. higher than, the, yeah. Sure. I have six hits. Um, okay. Who? Yeah. Do you want to do anything with those, with the edge? Uh, remind you can me turn one of the fours into a five. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I rolled zero to soak, so he's dead. Oh. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, what's the plus on your weapon? Uh, run you, run you, run uh, is that my attack rate? Like what's, no, what's the damage? Damage, damage. damage. five p. Oh, oh god, five plus He's six is eleven. P. Very yeah. dead. Yeah, that's just super a, dead. That would take most <laughs> people down. Yeah, you. There's a hole where his heart was. Uh, cool. <laughs> there is a single hooded figure on the roof. However, while you were doing that, the helicopter is now about fifteen feet in the air. It's taking off. I told you it was going up. You're gonna okay. I would like you to make a piloting check to get the drone into the very small data port. Makes sense to me. While that's happening, can I pull the hood off this guy? Yes. Is it the right guy? It, this is the right guy. Right on. We need that. And if, we want the helicopter, though. Yeah, yeah you're going to want the helicopter. Yeah. Um, piloting plus what? Logic? Because um, it's like, because I'm like doing this as a similar to remote controlling the gun. I will say yes. Okay. 100 meters is 300 feet. Yes. A little more than that. Yeah. So uh, this gun is like, I probably have to gecko glove a little, gecko glove a little bit to get up to it again. Like I'd have to have dropped like 10, 20 feet. Because that because it says here, uh, it can probably. be fired up to 100 meters and supports the weight of 100 kilograms. I, sure. Um, given that I didn't make you do anything like that on the way down, I'm not making you do anything. Does it give you an ascending speed though? No, not yet. No, it doesn't. It just says here, uh, they got the hook attached, rope up to 60 meters or 100 meters, depending on the type of line. I've got the biomeric yep. type best line. Yep. I'm fine with that. Threshold, blah, blah, blah. It comes equipped with internal winch to retract or grapple pull up small loads of up to 10 kilograms. 
so the winch wouldn't bring me up. No, it would not. Okay, so I'm going. I'm, am I hearing all this though? Because I'm, I'm I'm grabbing the rope and then I hear this. Uh, you wouldn't you hear would, your gun go off. You so would actually no. You, you would hear me cackling. You would have. Yeah, over the comms. Yes. Yeah. yeah. At high speed. And and you probably <laughs> might have heard his weapon go off. Um, maybe. Can he not see? the same stuff we see as well? Uh, he is not usually jacked in with AR because yeah. it makes him... Like, yeah, yeah. no, I am I'm able to see everything, but usually it's just me. Okay. I would say given Leroy's reaction, you're probably pretty confident that things um, are popping off. What does 4-Edge let me do again? Is that a reroll all my misses? Yes. I'm doing that. Okay. Burning it. Burning it. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Six. Ratio-wise, that's about as good as I can expect without going for exploding sixes. Do you have any fours? No. But I could re-roll my two dice. You gonna make him re-roll some? You're gonna want to re-roll. I'll re-roll. I'll re-roll my two dice. I set the I set the difficulty at elite for this. Ooh. Well, that's another six. Okay, that'll do it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I, I said the right. difficulty at seven because you are trying to no, no, in, insert a drone is, into a this moving is reasonable, helicopter. And this isn't it's, really my area of expertise. Yeah. So yeah. Before it took off, I would have set it at a four, I'm but once it's airborne. I'm right. definitely not yeah. as skilled in this as the straight hack. You succeed in, in capturing gentle, a helicopter. Gentle, gentle, easy um, does it. At this point, honestly, uh, you've basically got it. Hey, right. guys, check Dude. out my copter. Yeah, mm. I mean. Come with me if you want to live. Yeah, yeah. You, well, you can even manhandle. The Come with me if point. you want so to. Be. You're bringing the helicopter back down, presumably. Yes. Getting I'm on. not. I'm not. I am in no way remotely piloting this thing. I am instead just going to lower. Yeah, fair and enough. And then let this uh, guy deal that's, with it. That's that's not a problem. <laughs> um, I didn't have any particular additional defenses. They were fully expecting you to uh, to go down uh, after the decoy, which you kind of did. Uh, so at Grenades this point, I think you can get away in the copter, cop, helicopter before they have a chance to do much. I play Miku Hatsune over the speakers. Of I'll the, do. Uh, I'll I'll try and risk a little more. What I'd like to do is, since it's Malmeric rope, it can be controlled remotely. So I want to yes. I want to recoil it on its own. Okay. Um, because I do want to go up and get this gun. That's you, a good you, idea. I, I would say that you would be able to run into the next building's lobby. Uh, the people in the building will probably notice you, but I don't think the the guards. Yeah, will. I'll I'll try and retrieve the gun and, and and the rap, grapple gun and yeah. then get to my bike. Um, I'm pretty sure I can play. Unless we get on, the, get on the chopper. Yeah, why don't you grab the stuff from the chopper? Because so, I'll meet you guys at the location then. Grab my yeah. guns and we'll go. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it'd take that long to do that. It's it's one roof over. Right? I mean, they they will summon more reinforcements fairly quickly, but fairly quickly meaning like a few minutes. Yeah. I think you can probably. You're yeah, probably and that in which case, if I know they're going to get it, to get the grapple gun and my rifle, then I will just make my way to the bike. And thank you, Angie, for dropping two more for Leroy. Yeah, get you back up with a little bit. Uh, I congratulations, you. Uh, a little bit of a stumble, but yeah, that that works. You're we good. are what shadow are running gods. Doing with the helicopter. Mine. We're taking it back to Boris's warehouse for storage. Mine. Uh, no. Do we have Let a better place RFID to store it? First. Yeah. First, Let him scrub it first. <laughs> first, we need to go to a neutral location so that I can remove all of the things. We're going to a plane. beach front. On the harbor, okay. well, but we like... are stealing this helicopter. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Is the main thing. This is now my. We have this helicopter. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, you've got the helicopter. Why not? <laughs> I was going to say, what we could do is we could... The other option is I will gladly uh, locate one of the uh, one of those Matrix gangers I owe a little bit to. So... And, uh, just kind of leave it there. Uh, yeah, so so here's how we're going to handle you with the helicopter, because that's... Uh, it's a bit a, of a game break. That's a it's not, a, it's of, not a stealthy approach, a bit though. bit of a game break, yes. A, it's never going to be a stealthy approach. B, uh, you can pilot it. You cannot legally pilot it. In sure. the city, yes. for damn sure, uh, without being on all kinds of radars and everything else. So, this is not. Uh, I, not I'm, I'm Maybe only. Later. Yeah, I'm only giving them to this, this to them because 
I want to see where it goes. I mean, <laughs> so what if so what if we hide it in Boris's warehouse for now? We'll take it to yeah, Boris's we warehouse. Repaint it. Then yeah. give me the number for me so I can have him repaint it to my specifications. I'm gonna say though, Actually, if why don't you we want bring it to Mises, then I'm gonna say though that if you want the helicopter, you're gonna have to drop about 15k new yen into like. Re Fixing repainting it, up it so that it's yeah. Yeah. removing yeah. all the that stuff. That seems fine. I believe I can pay for that. Perfect. What? You stole um, it. Well, what's this job pay? Ten each. Uh, ten each. So why don't we just take five each? Yeah. And the remainder That's, goes into the helicopter. Yeah. So we're gonna all right. helicopter. Okay. You have a freaking helicopter. I'm I'm curious to see how that screws over all of my future runs. We'll be sparing. I mean, you. it's one of those things that it, if you start taking it out routinely, you're going to lose it. Pretty well, I was going to say, I'll be yeah. impressed if we get one run out of that helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's mostly going to sit in the warehouse until a very niche. You know it's it it's going to sit there for a couple months. Adrian will forget about it. And then, uh, <laughs> and then we'll oh, be we with an helicopter. Like, oh, oh, we got a helicopter. Shit. Yeah, okay, you win. Someone's going to mention the <laughs> helicopter, and Tom's going to go... We have a helicopter. Oh, oh Hondo P. <laughs> Absolutely, that's Hondo going to happen. Uh, yeah, I, there was actually a self-destruct in the helicopter in case you had taken it without the person in it. Uh, but since you, A, took the person in it and, B, had control of it, uh, yeah, you're able to get rid of all that stuff. Stun grenade gone. Got to buy a new stun grenade. So Worth here's it. the deal. You, I think, ended up without, really without any meaningful heat. Uh, you killed a few people. I blinded everybody that they saw. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't Capitals think... got heat. We wore masks. I'm going to say you yeah, got one heat. Okay. Because you were on the correct building's rooftop, and you killed someone there. It's not much, but I'm going to say you got one heat. I actually think you two probably got off completely scot-free. I, I mean, I'm still at the new Well, yeah, I don't you, know why we're That's blinking? right. <laughs> is it still blinking? No. Uh, no, it's. It, oh, I think it died. I got to um, power it up. Uh, it was a very smooth job. Yeah, I actually thought you guys were going to bungle it there for a minute, but then you kind of... Well, How do we get identified for the heat? So heat is less about you being... Like, listen, if you were oh, specifically oh. identified, it wouldn't be one heat. Sure. Heat is more like the the level of, like, if you do more shit, for instance, where, yes, you wore a mask, in the future, you will also be wearing a mask, it's not that many jobs before people can start to piece it together. Sure. Uh, um, I, actually, I would say the heat is probably because you were on the roof where the cameras are, so they have time to study you. Correct. Yeah. I wasn't on the roof where the cameras they, were. Yeah, they, they now know before they saw me. did somebody with your build, their, your haircut, your whatever, your, your etc. If you didn't have generic, I might even make the argument for two heat, but one heat is, is nothing. Sure. It does nothing. It does nothing. One heat is generally uh, what you're expecting to have. before we hit have. the next uh, run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you wait, or you can also just do a run. Like, one heat does not meaningfully affect you. Yeah. I think it's um, three is one thing. Three is the threshold where it starts. Yeah, and basically, you can imagine, like, hey, Shadowrunners, we, we caught this video, you know, there's a reward of 10,000 new yen if you tell oh, us who they are. It's also, it says, it's also like street cred, too. In, 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 a, in a bad way, it's like runners talk. It's like, oh, yeah. that runner... You know, yes, he he tends to do things a little more. Yeah, but because you're bland, it's, it's and there's there's yeah. sort of two sides of that. On the one hand, you'll get street cred with the runners. That's on the other hand, yeah. yeah. On the other hand, if you've got street cred, it means that people might recognize you. So we should be pricks now and extort this guy for more money before and try to <laughs> give him back. No, I'm kidding. Hey, I'm kidding. That's 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 sounds like, that sounds like a you thing. I'm to just gonna note, I'm gonna prime the message. Rep. What? I'm not doing Sorry? That. How do we get rep? Uh, so with. Factions, you get rep by doing things with that faction. For instance, the the company that this CEO uh, or C level uh, works for, uh, you now have a bit more rep with. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the the overall reputation rating is is gets us to veteran status at some point. Like the higher our reputation goes, the bigger, the more crazy the jobs we'll get. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll start getting people contacting us specifically for yeah. certain. Yeah. Basically, high jobs. I'm doing it as like there are jobs that you will actually just straight up get rep for. Okay. Uh, those will be fairly few and far between. Those will be big jobs. Um, there are also, like, if you get enough sort of rep with, like, if you work with the same company a few times, if you work with enough companies, over time I'll be like, you're well enough known that, like, the, the fail forwards can get the job done. Sure. That's the sort of. So, so that the will Leafs come can slower. get the job done. Yeah, the Leafs can get the job done. <laughs> Um, and yeah, Temple's exactly right. Runners all talk, and there's always the chance that somebody will put a reward on information about who you are, which is where he comes in. Gotcha. 
Uh, that said, you came off incredibly smooth. You killed a few people, uh, but I mean, shots did you fire? That happens. I fired uh, six. Okay. Uh, they certainly were not good people taking part in all of this. Mm. Uh, I'm going to say you each grab, uh, we'll call it three karma. Nice. And, I, and, and an argument could be made for an additional couple uh, to split between you however you want. Split between us? Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you two more that you can argue about. Well, you know, Chronostatic <laughs> uh, just started throwing a bomb in a public D6 area. D6 karma? Actually, I like that. You can take two karma each, or you can roll a D6. <laughs> sorry, did, sorry, did I say two or three originally? You said three originally. Three originally. You can take three, or you can roll a D6. Instead of taking three? Yeah. So we can all just choose to roll D6 and get what we get? I'm not doing yeah. that. I'm, I'm taking my three. I'm no P taking the... the, the I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. This is this is a strictly anti-Tom mechanic. <laughs> yeah. yeah and I'm I, putting, I don't care about karma like this guy I'm, I'm putting this in your hands. Yeah, I'm not even deal. rolling it for you. Uh, I just don't know what die to roll now. Oh, no, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> can we make ah, deals with oh, the die I know what die to roll. That, that was my hit. <laughs> that was your hit? All right. Bad news. Am I going to get merched? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, we get merched. Sex car! Oh, hey! There it is. There it is. No risk, no I'm reward. on board with it. I'm on board with it. Thanks, Temple. <laughs> yeah, I like Milky that. Way's got my back. Yeah, I, I like that. From now on, I'll give you the option of either taking a karma. You're just going to uh, always make it three or four so that no one ever rolls but me. Well, I mean, some jobs you'll you'll get. He like, can always increase it like 2d6 or whatever. He, oh, God, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there will be jobs that are you worth way more. You can take seven more. or you can take 2d6. I mean, there are jobs that I can imagine that you would get take probably like 10 or 12 karma each. Yeah. They're just going to be... They're going to be hard. Yeah. Luck, yeah. Um, six. So, ten, so we got 10k, but we're all putting five in. For the helicopter. For the heli. Mi we might as well. You'd be stupid not to. Yeah. yeah. N now now, now the scene grows. We're at Nukeburger. There's a rain machine. He's there. And in the background is the, the helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> just sitting in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys are okay with uh, putting on uh, large pink haired women and uh, a couple of interesting characters. You know, I, I'm just looking, thinking back on this. With that smug look you had about something's going on, and you know you have this look where you're like something is moving forward in your brain, and uh. I'm like, what is it? <laughs> if, I didn't, if we didn't look down, oh my god! No, yeah. if we didn't look we down, didn't it look wouldn't matter because it wasn't that was the, the decoy. Guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. So that's true. That's true. Wow. Yeah. Damn. But we couldn't take the chance. I mean, you would have. Uh, actually, it probably wouldn't have mattered because you probably still would have handled it quickly enough that it wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah. But uh, if you hadn't looked down, you would have heard the vehicle pulling up at about 15 seconds later. Ah, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. And at that point, you at that point, there's down. no way. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, yeah. there was an armored vehicle on the way. At which point, we would be so far then. in that we'd be like, oh, no. And then, yeah, it would have been interesting. I don't know how yeah. that would have played out. But you would have been alerted to the ground. Like, they weren't being subtle for exactly that reason. Exactly, yeah. They did the same decoy we did. Pretty much. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much exactly. Yeah, they did, didn't yep. they? Because we were like, oh, let's do a botched run on the ground to get them to go down there. See, and then they were like, let's do a botched escape down here to get them to come down I, here. When I was putting together this, I was like, first of all, if they have a mage in the party, <laughs> invisibility is a thing. Uh, but you didn't have a mage, so fine. It would have been um, so dirty if you made him invisible. Nah, I wouldn't It would have been so that'd good. Be so no, I'd have been fine with it, but I'd have been like, oh, patchouli. Uh, and then and the other thing that did it? If it was, was basic invisibility, I could have noticed it if I was there. Imagine but... it was patchouli that did it. It was actually patchouli. He was hired to, like, stop it. Hey, man. Because like ultrasound is like, oh yeah, you can pick up invisible as long as they don't use the superior invisibility, which everybody uses. <laughs> yeah, the other thing that they were waiting on was if any of you had tried to get into the helicopter before he would take control of it, or before the mark had gotten into it, it would have self-destructed with you in it. That would have been uh, funny. Uh, that would have been bad. That would have been a pretty much a character death. Uh, well, I would have let you try to jump out, but yeah, yeah, it would have been bad. So. Thank you uh, yeah, great. so much, everybody, for checking us out and hanging out and all the support. We, we love it, and we love to see you in chat and participating. We're one for one. Uh, I'm going to try to be a little more active on the Tremor Chat channel because I do want to give some more detail about runs that they've done already in case somebody wants to pick my brain about stuff. And then also, we have been talking a little bit about uh, doing this more often. Yes. 
So uh, we with, don't with have multiple hard... with, with more people running and yeah. having different groups, so, so it's not straining on everyone's schedules. We could we could do this more often, especially since we've uh, got some requests with Catalyst to do so. So yep. uh, they've got some things they want to pull off. So we've entered, entered into an agreement with them. Yes. To sort of make this work. So we were talking about doing Shadowrun more frequently. Yeah. So we don't have any hard plans on that. Nothing but yet. let us know what kind of uh, what works for you. Whether uh, running uh, you want to play, uh, Angie, you. You can totally come and play. Yeah, and you, we, we, you were supposed to come play, but no, you're so busy. <laughs> you <can't make> it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so we'll keep you posted. Um, probably nothing in the next few weeks, but we do want to start firing up a bit more Shadowrun. Yeah. That was great. We're one and one. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was incredibly smooth. You guys absolutely nailed that. Good I stuff. feel more confident about myself in many aspects now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I I was like, he's not gonna roll enough, and then you were like six. It's like I want you to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> I actually want you to win now. So <laughs> that's good. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll have a, a a more crew next. I think Chad's in next week or next uh, month, whatever. And and uh, yeah. Well, so if we stick to the next month, actually, I think the next one would be at. Origins. Origins. We are we are streaming from Origins. That's right. We will be streaming from Origins, yep. and we on will the, be on the doing, main stage actually. Yep, and we will be doing at least one shadow run while we're down there. Yep, I think we've got scheduled in two. But yeah, yeah, maybe one or two. I don't know. One, we are, one, one at least. Tech, I think. One and battle tech. Yeah. Yep. Um, we've also got our design and module. Really yeah, cool. I'm looking exciting. forward to that. Yeah, we were talking yeah. about that a bit uh, I during set seven. To Kyle, I was playing it to Kyle. And Kyle's like frothing at the mouth. He's like, I want to leave early. It's like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then uh, we are at Gen Con as well in August, which is the first month of uh, first of August yeah. as well. So uh, we'll be streaming from Gen Con stage as well. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to figure out who's running, but there will probably be a few people from Catalyst running with oh, us. Oh yeah, uh, I believe there'll be quite a few actually um, in the, from the Catalyst crew and or authors and stuff joining us from their crew. So yeah, so some, that should be fun. Some celebrities in the Shadowrun universe taking special guest seats. Yeah, yeah, it'll be great. Cool. Thanks so much, everybody, and we will uh, catch you on the next one. See you.